Thanks Glenn, welcome to my humble little kitchen. Today we're going to um, show you how to stuff some mushrooms. We've got some beautiful um, little closed buttons and um, we're going to stuff them with a blue cheese stuffing and crumb them and lightly deep fried in olive oil. So we have um, mushrooms like so, they come with a little stalk in the bottom which we need to take out. So the easiest way is to just give it a little pull like that. Some of the mushroom stalks are a little bit hard so you might need to get a little teaspoon from over here and take that excess stalk away. We can discard that. Okay, we've got some that's been destalked earlier. One, two, three, four little mushrooms, probably for a nice entree size meal there. Now we just have to create our stuffing mixture. We'll take about 150 grams a finely chopped, beautiful, fresh leg ham off the bone. About a hundred or so grams of finely chopped white onion. Roughly the same amount of red capsicum. To that, we add, previously melted, some beautiful Tasmanian true blue cheese, which is a lovely mild blue cheese which um, is nice and creamy and not too strong. So we add all that to our mixing bowl. We might discard the parts there that have the rind, which has gone a little bit harder. We don't need that, we just need the flavor. To that, we add some bechamel white sauce, which you can find the recipe of in any basic cookbook. Mix that and just a small teaspoonful of fresh crushed garlic which we do ourselves. A little mix around there. To that some green herbs which I've got freshly plucked there. Just a very quick little slicing. Reasonably nice and fine. This will add colour and some beautiful flavour. This is basil and dill very popular flavours in the bowl. And then mixing all around, possibly a little bit of fresh chopped parsley as well. And then we're ready to stuff. Not forgetting a dash of cracked peppercorns. We don't need salt because this um, the cheese and the ham are both have a fairly high salt content and uh, any more will make that too salty. Take our mushroom cap and a good teaspoonful of the stuffing mixture and just forcing it into the hole there. And we just keep that nice and level with the top of the mushrooms as this will be the point where if there's any leakage in the cooking process that will come through. So we don't want too much excess there. Discard the mushroom stuffing and our crumbing flour, egg and breadcrumbs. It's just egg in there with a dash of milk and a touch of um, pinch of salt. So that's quite easy, just whisked up. Tossing in the flour, discarding the excess. So you've got a lightly floured mushroom. Make sure it's fully coated there into the bread. And make sure that's fully coated, especially on the stuffing section. Now we do these twice to give them a good coating. All around again, lightly tossed concentrating on the soft part into the egg mixture and into the breadcrumbs. Nice, probably packing on that wetter side again, a beautifully stuffed mushroom. And now we just repeat that same process three or four times or as many as you need. Four mushrooms in total for an entree serve will be fine. Right, what we have left to do now is to cook them off. In a little wok or pan, we can shallow fry or semi-deep fry um, our little mushrooms. In it, we've got a nice olive oil there, so that's um, cholesterol-free for those who are watching their figures and their health. Pop them in there, and these don't take very long at all. Just keep moving them around so they cook nice and evenly. The stuffing mixture, being um, totally cooked products apart from the vegetable matter, doesn't need to overcook inside. 
just crisps it up and warms up the mushroom. I think that's just about perfect. Onto some kitchen paper to soak up the excess oil. Nothing worse than greasy food. And there we have it. Present our mushrooms. Pop them in a lovely big white um, dish like so with some mescaline leaves which you can buy at the supermarket these days. A little bit of fine julienne vegetable of some sort. I think the snow peas a lovely nutty flavour. That's a nice colour. A little bit of capsicum. Create a little bit of height. A wedge of lemon. And some Thai, thai sweet chilli sauce is a beautiful accompaniment to our beautiful stuffed mushrooms.